Uno. Hello. Here we are again in our interview series from the International Association for Counseling, uh, where we want to meet different members around the world who share their own experience about being part of our association. And today we are with Monica from Mexico. Welcome, Monica. Hi, Desiree. Thank you for inviting me. Welcome. No, we're very happy to have you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Monica. I am Monica. I am a human being. I am constantly being myself. I represent Mexico. I am ambassador for Mexico in the ESA and IAC, and I am studying information for my master in psychotherapy, humanistic approach, just out, basically. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for that. Now, um, since you've been part of IAC, what do you think and feel that IAC has given you? It has given me a lot of things. Uh, for starters, it has given me the opportunity to meet amazing people, which I can grow among. So we learn together how therapy is done in different parts of the world and how it is perceived. And for me, that is very rich uh, nutrient because we, we get to feel how everyone is different and everybody needs different approach to therapy. There is not one size fits all for, for how we should do things. There's, there's no should. <laughs> so that's for starters. It has also given me the opportunity to like to bring my perspective into the table and to feel that I am not alone in what I am doing because um, most at the beginning of my career I felt like it has been a solitary path like when you are a therapist and now I'm, I don't feel alone in this world I feel that I belong to a group that is doing like the same the same mission to to help people be be themselves and grow and live a fulfilling life mm, that because is, uh -huh. that is i'm sorry to interrupt that no, i was no, thinking worry. that you bring up a very very common feeling that I hear around counselors around the world that it's mm -hmm. feeling lonely uh, or because our our work is a lot of times individual so we are there mm -hmm. in our office and we see people but it's things that we cannot share other than with our supervisor so uh, I think that you are giving voice to a feeling that is it's very common among counselors around the world so having a group to belong to that understands where you're at and mm -hmm. that it's very inclusive really brings a sense of, of belonging and of walking the path with someone. So thank you yes. for sharing that. I you guess know, that's priceless. It is, it is mm -hmm. priceless. Monica, what would you say that um, it's the biggest challenge for international counseling in your own point of view? I, we have a, like a fixed belief of what therapy is like, right? So we automatically, automatically think like, I am going to this approach of therapy or I am going to this approach of therapy or Mexican counselors do this this way and African counselors do this this way. So, and as I was telling before, there is no one size fits all. So the challenge is how we as persons like open our perspective to be able to, to get what um, therapy and counseling and coaching and all the ways we can walk along the path with our clients or patients are able to help because if we are not open to receive 
that counseling, however it might be on that session of therapy or with that counselor in particular, we might not get the benefits of it. So it's like changing the perspective of what therapy is like, or how we see therapy. Mm. Because it might, I guess, every country sees therapy or has its own regulations or has its own approach, approaches or preparation for their counselors or therapists or coaches. So how we receive and respect all the different perspectives and what each one of them brings to the table. I guess that's the biggest challenge. How, to, how do we open the, the perspective of the clients to be willing to receive the benefits they might receive from it? Hmm. I don't know if I explained myself this year. You were very clear, very clear. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Perfect. Now, uh, you became recently an IAC member. Uh, for people who are curious about IAC or who are wondering if it would be interesting or valuable enough to be part of, of the International Association for Counseling, what would you tell them? Join the IAC. Hmm. It, it has been, talking personally, it has been like that step that pushed me to feeling a part of something bigger and that is is greater than than whatever I might think I might help mm. so if you join you get a lot of benefits starting to feel it like the feeling that is priceless as I was telling you before but also you get access to very valuable information and to experiences from other people like how are they doing things how we might do things better together to create a better impact and a bigger impact because obviously we're better when we're together. So having this space of international dialogue and like a general view of how therapy is done and the newsletters we receive every month and this space, it's a space that, that gives me and I guess all the members, the opportunity to grow together and to make a greater impact. And I, I guess it's very valuable that. Thank you, Monica. Now, is there anything else that we didn't cover in, in this interview that you would want to share? No, I am just feeling grateful for the IAC, it, it is very, I feel blessed like to, to have joined path with, with you who invited me to belong. And I guess there's a lot of work to do to open the perspective of people and how we see things and therapy and to, to see it as, as a tool that makes us better persons uh, as human beings. Not, not a, me as a therapist, but me as human being. Going into therapy, I guess that's the biggest challenge where I live because here in Mexico also, therapy is not yet well received. Like people are, have their ideas. So there's a lot of work to do in that area and I am well compromised to to changing that belief because we're here to grow and to be better persons i i appreciate uh, mentioning your own views on what's happening in your country and i i would add because i'm from mexico too even though i live in vancouver right now i'm from mexico and i i understand where where you're coming from and part of the challenges, beauty thing, beautiful things, and also difficult things regarding counseling. And I think that another challenge that I, I think that there's in, in Latin America, but also in Mexico, it's the sense of, of uh, working together to become mm -hmm. team players. Uh, I, and I think that's something that IAC brings to the table that that you become a team player, not an individual mm -hmm. who's looking to gain your own clients, your own benefits, but working for a, a bigger cause 
and working with other people just for the fact of working with other people, not to gain something or get more money, but like, because there's like a, a big mission of bringing something beautiful to others. And I think that's a great challenge also too, that I would add to the one that you're yes, sharing of course. With us. Working together and, and bringing one plus one is three. We all always bring more value and we work together. Hmm. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for joining us today and for sharing part of your views with us. See you Thank in you, our next interview. Bye, Monica. Bye.